action. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hunt and this is sixth grade at Stoutfield Elementary. We've been learning about kinetic and potential energy and this is the Marble Roller Coaster with Rick Crossland. Hey, good morning. So today we're going to be talking about something that's kind of cool, potential and kinetic energy. And you probably remember from your work this week that potential energy is stored energy. And kinetic energy is the energy of motion, things that are moving. Ring a bell? Yes? <laughs> Good. So uh, we talked a little bit last week about different forms of energy. And there's really, you know, we talked about a lot of different forms of energy, but today we're going to talk about three forms of potential energy. So potential energy... And you may want to write this on the back of your paper. Potential energy can be in three forms. One is chemical. For example, I had some oatmeal this morning. That oatmeal is now inside my belly, and I am now being able to walk and move and talk and change some of my energy from chemical into sound, into heat, and into motion. Where did that energy come from in that oatmeal? Well, eventually it came from the oats. And where did the oats get the energy? From the grass. From the, from the ground and from the sun. From the sun. Very good. So chemical energy is stored potential. So it's stored. All right, that's one type of potential energy. Another type is called elastic elastic potential energy. Have you ever taken a rubber band and pulled it and let go? What happens? It, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever taken like a, a clipboard and flipped it? Anytime you can use something like a spring or elastic, maybe you have some elastic on your pants. I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you pull and let go, kinetic energy. We hope that they have elastic uh, and they stretch back. <laughs> But today we're going to talk about a third type of potential energy, and that third type of energy is called gravitational potential energy. Gravitational, what, what word is that familiar to you in gravitational potential energy? Yes? Gravity. Gravity. We're going to talk about things that fall. Things that fall down to the ground because of a pull force called gravity. And your diagram. So I bet your teacher has shown you some of these things already, hasn't she? Yes. Okay, Ms. Hunt, show well, us some of these things. We have been talking about potential energy. So we, we have food. And food is like these and raisins pretzels and pretzels. And, and raisins. So what kind of potential energy would this be up here, boys and girls? Chemical. Chemical. There's food in here that came from the sun. Very good. And then we also have some examples of elastic energy. Elastic energy. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This has no energy, right? This has no energy. This so, is just potential energy. So let's stretch it. And on this has what? Potential? <laughs> and on the count of three, let go, okay? One, two. <laughs> Mr. One, Crossley. One. You pulled it on me. <laughs> She, she pulled it, right? Okay. So that is elastic potential energy. And what about that bull clip? No, I think that's elastic too. Let's see. When I squeeze. When you squeeze it and let go of it, it pops back because the metal has some steel in it. Okay, so, and finally, oh, you're going to demonstrate what? I'm going to, what, what is this? Right. So if I were to let this go, what kind of energy would be pulling? Because it drops. Now I'll tell you, uh, most kids and teachers and people get this wrong, but if you ever get asked this question on Jeopardy or who wants to be a millionaire, here, call me, phone a friend, I'll help you, but I get some of the money. Is there gravity in outer space? No. No. Yes. 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 Okay, why don't we do a number? If you think that there is gravity in outer space, show one. And if you do not believe that there's gravity in outer space, show two. Is there gravity in outer space? 
And you might want to think about what we've learned about space and objects in space. So the answer is, let me ask you this. A world without gravity in outer space would mean that the Earth would not orbit the sun. It would mean that the moon would not stay here. So you might want to change their prediction. So is there gravity in outer space? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, so today's lesson, we're going to apply all of this. We're going to apply potential, which is stored, gravitational energy. And we're going to turn that into kinetic energy. Now everybody say kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Because a lot of times people say kinetic energy, and I'm sure kinetic is a nice state, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about <laughs> kinetic energy, okay? Got it? Yeah. All right, so you're going to build you're going to build a roller coaster. Now, we could just make a simple roller coaster that starts up here and goes down here. And this is the ground. Now, something has to get that marble or you or something to the top of that roller coaster. How many of you have been on a roller coaster before? And you know, oh, so a lot of most of you have. So you know that when you go up a roller coaster, let's say we're coming up this side over here, you're in a little car and it's going Ding, 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 ding. And right at the top, you usually do what? Slow down. You scream. <laughs> right at the top, the highest you can get, it pauses just for a second, doesn't it? And then it starts to move. So when you're up here, when you're up here at this very top part here, what would you say about your potential energy and your kinetic energy at that very moment where you stop? So your potential energy, potential energy, would that be big or small? Small. I think it would be as high as it's going to get, don't you? You're not going to go higher. So your potential energy would be completely full if that is a little lever right there. And what about your kinetic energy? Are you moving? No. no. Tiny bit. So it'd be small. It'd be zero because you're not moving. You're just stopped right there for a second. So when we make our marble roller coasters today, I want you to think about where that marble is when it's at the very top. It's got full potential, but it's not moving. Then it starts to go down. When it starts to go down, what's going to happen to its potential energy? Going to be less or more? Be less. If I'm up here and, and I start to drop, or if I'm right here, I'm right here, as it goes down, the potential energy is going to be less. So when the marble is right about here, let's call that PE for potential energy. Now our gauge, would it be full like up here? No. It'd probably be about what? Half. About half. You're right. Our potential energy would be half as it was up there, right? When the marble's down here, the potential energy, can it fall down anymore? No, it can't go down any further, so the potential energy here would be zero. This is just potential energy. Here it's full, here it's half, and here there's no potential energy. Because if I started right here on the ground and I drop this, is it gonna go anywhere? No. no. Okay, but, but that's only half the story because what have we left out right here and here? What's missing? What other What's type missing? of energy has been? The kinetic energy. So let's say kinetic energy, K-E. Here the kinetic energy was zero. It's full. Half. Half. It's gonna be half, you're right because it's halfway through its movement. And what about the kinetic energy here? Full. Kinetic energy is going to be full. You're right, because it is flying. Okay, and it'll keep going. So I want you to understand this, because next week we're gonna talk about mechanical energy. And mechanical, total mechanical energy is both the potential added to the kinetic. But that's next week, okay? So, uh, so when you're marble roller coaster, I want you to be able to know. Now, what if we put a marble right about here? Do you think you could fill in? What do you think the potential energy would be, and the kinetic energy would be right about here? One fourth and three. Kinetic energy. 
Four it's just, yeah, one fourth because it's just going. Potential energy? Three fourths. Three fourths. Hey, you got that. Yeah, because it's really got a lot more to go. And could you fill in this one right here with it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> potential energy? How much is left? Four. Only a fourth of the potential energy is left, right? And the kinetic energy? <coughs> Three fourths. Because it's going pretty fast. And so that's a little gauge. Maybe you guys play video games and you see how much life you have left. You know, those little bars that go. That's what this is. These are bars of potential and kinetic energy. Okay, I'd ask Deanna to come up here because we're going to demonstrate what we're going to make today. So I have a black foam tube, right? And this tube is, is the hollow inside. Look inside of it. Hello, could you hear anything? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, so let's put it flat. Back up just a little bit, Deanna. If I put this flat and I start to roll this, catch, open your hand up and let's see. Here we go. I'm, I got a marble. And do you think there's a lot of potential energy? No. Yeah. No. How could I increase the potential energy? Raise it up. Oh, raise it up. And what does she need to do? Raise it down. You lower yours down. Okay. So now, if I start here, it should come flying out. Ready? Let's see. Yes, it did. <laughs> Try to catch it. This is I got one more. Move your hand a little bit further back. Here we go. Think she's going to catch it? No. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Potential energy, one, two, three, kinetic. Ah, she caught it. Now, so what if we put it like this? What do you think? Back up that way just a little bit more. And now, yeah, thank you, sir. Now, a more potential energy or less? Let's find out. Ready, set, potential, kinetic. What did you notice about those two examples? The ones that look faster and the other ones look longer. Okay, let's try it straight up like this, okay? You get down a little bit. Can you get down a little bit? Yeah. Ready? Here we go. One, ready, set, go. 1,001. One. Wow. <laughs> Less than one second. All right, now let's go at almost very little potential energy. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? That was less than a second. Here we go. Ready, set, go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. That took four seconds. So this is two meters long. Thank you very much. Uh, you can have a seat for a second here. Let's take a look at that. That took, that took, the first one was almost straight down. See how it went kind of straight down like that? And that was two meters long. So I started here and it went down and it took one second. So we could say the speed for that is how many meters per second? Two. two. So it's two meters per second. The other one, which uh, Deanna and I did, it was kind of more like, like this, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was still two meters long, right? How many seconds did it take? Four. four. Went through there and it took four seconds. So, if we divide, how fast did this go per second? We can divide that. So in two seconds, how far did it go? In two seconds, it must have went one meter. So we divide that again for one second it must have gone a half a meter, 0.5 meters. So the speed of this is 0.5 meters per second. So we can learn about speed, potential energy, how far it goes, and that's what you're gonna do on today's lesson. We're gonna divide up into teams. You're each gonna get a set of these and you are going to make different marble roller coasters that all come to the center of the room. Okay, so there might be one team here, one team here, over there, over there. I'll provide you with tape and marbles. 
and foam insulation pipes. Now, there's three rules to doing this today. Rule number one, work together. Rule number two, work together. And what do you think rule number three is? Work together! Work together. Um, the teams that work together will be successful in this, okay? So we, have, we want you guys to work together. Um, also, safety. No, uh, we don't want any gravitational potential energy mishaps. I don't want you to fall and understand that gravity is a real deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want your head to learn that gravity is real or, or your backside or anything. So no falling allowed. The only thing that's falling is the marble. Let me ask you something, one thing. Would it be a fair test if I did this? What if I took this marble and I went... Would that be a fair test? No. Because I added a push, didn't I? It's going to be a, I added a push force. I just want to be able to drop it. A few more things. You're going to be putting these foam pipes together. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Some ways might be good and some ways may not work. Okay, so when you put something together, that's called a joint. Now, I know you guys are sixth grade and you might not quite get this, but this is called a butt joint, okay? <laughs> now, a butt joint doesn't work too good on this because things get stuck. So don't use a butt joint, all right? Instead, open up one of these and put the top one inside of it. When you put the top one inside of it, the marble will go and fall. <laughs> Thank you. The mar I'll help me here, Mrs. Hunt. The marble will go down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do it the other way, I have another marble here. Check this out, Mrs. Hunt. Here, help me with this one. So you notice, look, I put the top one inside of the bottom one. If I do it the other way around, if I put the top one on the outside, guess what happens? It's going to get stuck. It gets stuck. Now, I can tell you that, but you're going to have to learn it on your own. Also, uh, some of these, you might have to open them up just a little bit. See how that's open just a little bit? All right. And some of them are already just halves. So have some fun with this. Now I will tell you, here's what a lot of kids do. They start with all their potential energy and they use it up all at once, which is okay. But don't forget, you gotta go all the way to the center of the room, right? Now some kids do this, they, they go, they start, and then they come back up. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, no, oh, let's bring a marble up here. Bring that marble up here. Let's see if this will go on. Get the marble right there. Let's see if this will work. How many of you think this will work? Wait a minute. <laughs> yes or no? Will no. it work? No. No. Yes, yes. No. 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 Here. Because when the marble, the marble really can't make up extra potential energy. And it slows down because it bumps into two things. What does it bump into? Anybody? No, when you drop what? It hits the top. It drops, it bumps into air and it rubs against the foam and that friction slows it down a little bit. Here, drop it again, let's try it again. Ready? So, you know, having to come back up could be a problem. Will this work, do you think? No. What about this? Yes. So a little bit, yes. So be careful. Any questions before we get started? All right, so let's get our materials and start building. Okay, on your worksheet, you're gonna see that I want you with your team to draw what your marble roller coaster section looks like. And then you need to fill in the distance in meters and the time it takes and then calculate your marble speed. I also want you to make those little potential energy, kinetic energy, bars on there. Okay, you guys ready? Go ahead and let's get started. All the kids are trying to get their marbles into this bucket right here. So we're working from all different areas of the room. I'll try to put it on the next side of it. Just try and like the it. Can you make it? Like this. Hold that. That looks like really You keep telling everything. Whoa, that went far. Did it work? Yes. Yeah. Nice. It's a nice Will it work like this? No, because um, you'll need a lot of potential energy. 
Did that marble make it? Did that marble? Yeah, made it. Okay, we got, a, we got another one. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of success here. Can we try? Can we try? We got marbles coming from everywhere. Why Are you guys ready up there? Yeah. Let's try one. Ready? Set, go. Potential energy, kinetic energy. It didn't get ours. It didn't get ours. Oh man, it's not one on us. Hey, good job. Tiny bit longer. Yes. Did ours make it? Yes, it did. Mr. Crossing, as you can tell, my kids have a lot of potential energy, that is. Can't wait for us to calculate meters per second next.